What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and to another video. So, hope you enjoyed the last video. The back end of the shell is really starting to look, look good now. I've got a bit of finishing off to do on the rear valance, but in this episode, we're gonna start looking at the front panel. So if you've been watching the series from the beginning, you know that the first few repairs I did were to this inner front lower panel, um, which were acceptable, but I wasn't overly happy with. They were one of the first things I'd ever tried to fabricate and weld onto a car, full stop. So, I'm not happy with them. We decided what we were gonna do was take the front panel off and replace it with a complete new one that has very kindly been sent to me by Heritage Parts Centre, who are sponsoring this build. So a massive thank you to Heritage. I'll put a link in the description to their website. Don't forget to use the code CHAMBERS at the checkout and we'll get you a nice 10% off your order too. So massive thanks to those guys for supplying me with that. So this episode, we're gonna get this old one off and get the new one fitted on. I've heard people saying that these chassis legs have a tendency to spring and things, so yeah, hopefully it'll be easy enough. But that's enough chatting. Let's get the spot weld drill and the grinder out. We'll try and get all this lot removed and get the new one in place. That is that removed. Everything behind there is looking pretty nice. Probably get in there and give that a bit of a clean, a bit of a prime. Um, this obviously was one of the early things. If you've been following the series, this is one of the earliest things that I tried to repair and it went quite wrong. So yeah, that we're gonna have to sort out and probably replace that front corner. I've got a new panel somewhere for it. This side looking a lot better. So now we need to get this nice shiny new front panel. Offer it into here, make sure everything's in the correct place and check what the fitment's like. There is then, new panel clamps on in place. Gone round and checked and checked a few dimensions. I've had the bonnet on and checked in places and it's, yeah, bang on, looks in the right place. So what I need to do now is take it off and um, obviously clean the primer off and drill all the, or put all the holes in it for spot welding and clean all the areas up that we're gonna be welding onto it. So key areas for welding. Front here and down this side. On the top here, and there's a little tab inside there as well. This little bit inside here for the chassis leg, there's one at the top. And then obviously as from factory, we're woven it along this seam on the outside. Can't really get into there, but we'll be doing it along the back here as well. Same on the other side. And yeah, I think that is not far. Oh, tell a light, hang on. There's, see these, these two holes here? These need welding. And if you can pick that up down here, there's two tabs as well, which these holes will weld from obviously the outside on to these as well. So we need to drill and mark those. This side, similar. These obviously are the spot old spot welds from the last one. It doesn't go quite as far back on this one. So we'll drill some more holes in here, ready for spot welding that together. But that came off a hell of a lot easier than I expected it to. A few spot welds, five minutes with an angle grinder with a cutting disc in it, and yeah, it came off. Well happy with that, and how it came off. So, let's get this off, get it all cleaned up. And then we'll crank the welder up, get it welded on. Okay, there's all that prime then. So we've got all these mounts primed, all these bits in here. Now, this side is not gonna be welded on properly because I wanna change this end because of all of that lot that's going on. This end will be finished and welded properly, but yeah, all primed, looking nice. 
panel down there, all of the areas that I've cleaned back ready for welding have all been primed too. So let's try and get this on into its final place, make sure it's touching everywhere that it needs to. And then we'll pull the old welder out, get some tacks on, get a new front panel on, get in front of this car looking like a golf again. I feel like this is another major part that I actually have been putting off because I was worried it was going to be um, quite difficult, but turns out so far, not too bad. So there we go, there's that clamped in place now. We've got a few choice clamps. We've got a few choice clamps on this side and here making sure everything's in the correct place. Same down this side. And then we've got this along here, which is a ratchet strap, which we've got into the engine mounts to pull the front panel back to just make sure that it's all touching where it needs to be. And I've then got this ratchet strap going round here, which goes obviously along the two wings, which pulls those two wings together. Because they did, as I cut it, if you saw, they did spring out a little bit. So we've got everything. I'm happy we've got everything in the right place now. These bits are all touching and it all feels equal. Top's touching. Top here's touching. This side did need jacking up a little bit to get that to touch, but it's in. That feels right. These are all sitting in bang on the right place. The tops are sitting nice. So... We'll get the wire wheel, because I didn't want to go cleaning too much of this black primer off on the front, although well, I did on that side because I got a bit excited. We're going to get the wire wheel now on the drill and clean up a few areas and we'll chuck a few spot welds on, or a few puddle welds, to get this fixed in, which is awesome. Now, as I've mentioned, I'm not going to be welding too much on this side because I am going to replace that in a wing at some point but I've not got one at the minute so well I have got one but it's just not big enough it doesn't cover the hole so we won't go welding too much on that side we'll weld all of that side all the chassis leg and everything will be welded it will just be that outer piece that goes onto that um, in a wing that we won't weld too much of so chuck this on the GoPro again we'll crank the welder up and get some tacks on it So we've got the front panel tacked on in place and everything's looking good, everything seems to be lining up where it needs to. I still need to go back and weld, seam weld the uh, chassis legs to it, but I couldn't resist. I could not resist. Look at this. <laughs> look at it. Look, look how nice it looks. It looks like a car again. I can't tell you how excited doing this has made me. So this is, it's the next day. I put all this lot on and did this last night. Took a picture before I left. Genuinely sat there for about three hours just staring at it last night. Man, it looks so good. Just, just look at it. Look, look how cool it looks. So now, obviously, the wheels, I'm not sure. They're probably not going to be sitting there unless we can bag it, but... I've just put them up there for the sake of it. Holds the wheel in place, stops it moving. These are obviously also the rep wheels, so we do need to try and source some genuine wheels. But these give the illusion and look that we're looking for. So, I mean, just, just look at it. It looks so good. So, yeah, as I've got the front panel all welded on and in place, and obviously I wanted to test that everything else fit and worked right with it, I thought it'd be rude not to put the wheels on as well. So we've got both the wings fitted, we've got the bonnet on as well. I slung the bumper in and the grills, just to give it a bit of a look. Um, but everything seems to fit and looks pretty good so far and I'm pretty happy with the way that it's all looking. So what we're going to do now is we will get the bonnet open and propped up with the prop that's under there and then we'll jump inside and get these chassis legs welded to this front panel.
Right, there's that one welded and that one welded that side as well. So now the front panel is pretty much fully welded on other than obviously the other side, the passenger side because we're changing the inner wing at a later date. That is on and sort of done for now. So I'm gonna now move on to the back and get this rear panel all welded in and dressed. But before we do that, just look at it one more time. I know I showed it once, but look at it. None of it's sitting in the right place. It's all just sort of thrown together. I don't need any of this on at the moment. It's all gonna to have to come off pretty soon. But I had to do it. Look at it. I'm doing this and mocking this all up has given me such a push now. I, yeah. I wouldn't say I was losing interest in it, but if you've ever done a project like this, you'll know what it's like. It's, and I know I'm doing it pretty quickly, but you spend a week doing something, and when you come in on the Monday and look at it, you'll be like, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I've done anything. This is massive. This is so, so good. Like I say, to get it this low, I don't even think you could get it this low. It'd have to be on air, which I really can't afford at the minute. And to do that, it needs a lot of cutting and notching and things on the chassis, which you never know. We might be able to uh, to sort out before it goes for paint because you won't want to be cutting into a freshly finished body. But yeah, I'm just going to leave you with that for a few seconds. Just look how cool it looks. So good. Right, let's go and have a look at this rear panel and get that welded on. rear valance all welded on and looking sweet now obviously it's going to need a fair amount of filler and a bit of knocking about to get it flat ready for paint but the amount of bodywork that's gone into this is not surprising at all so that's another major piece all right it was on before and yeah it did look like the golf again when it was just fitted but now it's all welded and it looks flat and it's all painted it's all similar colors man this is getting exciting I, I can't genuinely can't tell you how happy doing the having the front and the rear end together like this has made me. It's made when from when I was thinking like last week, someone said to me, "Oh, the, yeah, you you're quite away for it now. You've not got that much to do." And I was like, "No, there's this to do, this to do, this to do, this to do. There's loads to do." Now I've done this and I've gone through and I'll show you in a minute. I've done a few little bits and bobs in the car as well. Really feel like we're getting somewhere and that this might actually see the road this year other bits i've done if you remember there was a hole down here where the there was that cut out for the piece that we had to make for the inner arch i've welded that up and sorted that out there was various holes there was a hole in this piece here i've pieced a new piece in there and i've also gone around and tidied all all in here up ground all these welds back given that a nice prime so more little bits done trying to do a big thing and then do a few little things um, and that lot is two days so including the front panel welding the rear panel on sorting them out was two days so yeah not too bad in the grand scheme of things hopefully you've enjoyed this one then guys if you don't already do please consider clicking subscribe hit that little bell to get a notification of when we post a new video drop the video a like give us a little comment as well let us know what you think of the project so far so we'll leave that on there then guys thank you all so much for watching i do really really appreciate it I'm not really sure where the next episode on the golf is going to take us or what we'll be doing, but make sure you've hit that subscribe button and press that bell to get notifications to find out what the next stage is going to be. Until next time, guys, enjoy. Enjoy.